Vehicles with a gross vehicle weight rating over 10,000 pounds or 4,535 kilograms may be equipped with a tire pressure information system. While this system does monitor tire pressure, it must be checked manually by the operator. You'll need to inflate your tires to the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure. Tire pressures change with air temperature change. Keep that in mind when you check tires inside a garage, especially in the winter. Tire pressure may increase from heat during operation. Do not reduce this normal pressure buildup or your tire pressure will be too low. The Tire Fill Alert provides an auditory notification when the recommended tire pressure is reached. To use TFA, check that it's enabled in the Uconnect system. Make sure the vehicle is in park and then place the ignition in run mode. Once a change in tire pressure is detected, the hazard warning lights will turn on to indicate it has entered TFA mode. The horn will sound once when the recommended pressure is reached. If you exceed the recommended pressure by 10% while inflating or deflating a tire, the horn will continue to sound three times every five seconds. The selectable tire fill alert works much the same way, but you can select different pressures for the front and rear tires. STFA has a minimum selectable pressure of 15 PSI. The optional Trailer Tire Pressure Monitoring System monitors the pressure of each tire on your trailer. The instrument cluster will display trailer tire pressures and certain warnings, like low tire pressure or system malfunctions. The TTPMS is configured through the Trailer Settings menu in the Uconnect system. You can have up to four trailers stored in the system. Before using TTPMS, the provided sensors must be installed in the trailer tires and the sensors must be paired to the truck. This also needs to be done anytime you replace a single tire. With the sensors installed and the trailer near or connected to your Ram truck, initiate the pairing process by entering the settings menu in the radio. Select the desired trailer profile and then press Use This Trailer. Now, open the Tire Pressure menu and select Set up all tires. Select the number of axles, the number of tires, and press Next to enter the tire pressure. Then press Start to begin pairing the tire sensors in the order shown. The radio will send out wireless pairing signals to the sensors once the process has begun. Starting with tire one, deflate the tire by five PSI or 34 kPa and wait for a horn chirp, indicating the sensor has paired. Repeat the process until complete. If pairing fails, the horn will chirp twice and the touchscreen will prompt you to retry the procedure. This can happen if the distance between the radio and the trailer tires is too great. It may be useful to turn the ignition off, then back on before attempting to repeat the pairing process. You can also select a different trailer, then reselect the current trailer to try and correct the problem. If a trailer tire is replaced, you'll have to pair the new tire to the system. Select the desired trailer profile, open the tire pressure menu, and select replace single tire. Select the tire that needs to be paired, press next, then press start on the touchscreen. You'll be prompted to deflate the new tire and wait for a horn chirp. When the process is complete, press the finish button in the radio and you should be all set. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.